But that's a double option play that was made famous by Utah. Not many poor reads this year for Bazinet, but on third and long, he works up, finds his man, touchdown, Northwestern, Sean Herbert. Like Randy Walker said, you're never out of it, but you can't blow too many opportunities, especially when you're down here in the red zone. First down, Iowa's 12-yard line. Sutton wants to turn the corner and turn it up, and has it all the way in. Touchdown, Northwestern. First and goal. And it is Sutton for the touchdown. All right, the Wildcats down 24-7, but on a 21-3 run. Waiting for the big hop, and it is up for grabs. The Wildcats on the recovery. Ball spotted dead. The ball spotted dead. Deontay Battle. Reggie McPherson, 27, with the recovery for Northwestern, and they can pull this thing out. And Greenway does not remember that conversation, apparently. Second and goal just inside the 10. To the end zone, touchdown! Ross Lane with his first as a Wildcat. So for the extra point and the lead, Joel Howells, 28-27, Northwestern. With eight seconds to get only a field goal pass, do you have to throw end zone here? Tate looking for the field goal and bobbled, and that will do it. Herb Grigsby can't make the catch. Iowa, for only the second time in the last four years, will lose a game they led entering the fourth quarter. What a comeback by Northwestern to eliminate the Hawkeyes from the Big Ten race. This is the Wildcats' tenth win the last two years in a game decided by a touchdown or less. As they close with a 21-3 second-half run, to knock off Iowa 28-27.